Hey guys. So in this video, we're going to be sharing with you one of the most secret and most meta formations that so many people neglect to use. And this formation has been so good for us recently. We've won so many games with this formation. We've played about 50, 60 games of this formation. We've only lost about two or three games. It is so good. So today we're going to share that formation we do and also the tactics and instructions that go with it. But as always, show support. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, but most importantly, make sure you hit that notifications bell so that you know when we release new videos. So that formation in question is the 4141. Now, a lot of people never use this formation, but obviously I've been playing a lot of draft recently just to try something new, just to try out some new players and trying out a lot of different formations. And the 4141 is the one of the ones that I keep going back to, and it is so good. A lot of people don't use this formation because they see it as quite defensive. Obviously, it's got that one in the in midfield, that one DM, that flat four in midfield. And a lot of people struggle to actually attack in this formation. But the settings that we have, the instructions and the tactics, it makes it so easy to attack in. But naturally, because it's quite a defensive formation in terms of the way it starts and it's set up, it's so good at getting back into shape that you very rarely notice players ever out of position. So you're able to get the best of both worlds with attacking and defending. So moving on into the tactics, these are the tactics that I've been using when I've been using the 4-1-4-1. So of course we're going to be using balanced on the defensive style. Obviously I never recommend using a press. In terms of that defensive width, we've gone for 45. It's always better to have a, a narrower you know, formation, making sure that there's not a lot of space in between the lines as well. You know, That's what's more important. You don't want there to be sort of obvious space in between your back four, your midfield, your midfield, your strikers. You want people to force people out wide when people are out wide they're far less dangerous so it's much better to push people out wide than have people in the middle of the field in terms of the depth we've gone for around about 55 now you can push this up to around about 60 the reason why we neglected or elected sorry to go to 55 was because the build-up play is fast build-up and obviously when you play fast build-up it forces a lot of your players forward so it can pull players out of position obviously it makes for really good counter-attacks it makes it really good for attacking in general but when you lose the ball in transition you could sometimes notice that a few of your players are out of position so that's why we elected to have a slightly uh, lower depth on 55 but the fast build-up makes this formation so easy to attack in but like we said in the intro because of the starting positions of our players they get back into position really fast really well the one thing to note is you are going to have to have players with good stamina in this formation because they do a hell of a lot of running and in terms of the chance creation we've actually left it on balance now one of the things we said in a previous video you don't want to pair this with direct passing because it will make it crazy crazy attacking like yeah it will be so good attacking you'll be creating so many chances but there's just going to be too many players you know going out of position you know it's just going to be way too crazy you're going to be scoring loads of goals so you're just going to be so open at the back and obviously we want to have that balance between attacking and defending so it's always recommended that if you play fast build up the best thing to do is play it with balance and our instructions are going to take care of a lot of where we want our players to go so don't stress and then the offensive width, we've gone for around about 60. Of course, we do have left and right mid, so you do want to utilize some of that width. You know, make sure that some of your players do stay out wide and we utilize that width. So we don't want to force them too far wide and just open up the middle of the pitch. Like we said before, we want the pitch to be quite narrow, but offensively, you do need a little bit of width. And then players in the box, we've gone for five and corners and free kicks one. We have been getting counted a lot from corners, so we've decided to just put it down to one and we recommend you do the same. So now before we continue, if you want us to make more videos like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you comment below right now with any thoughts and questions on any of the formation videos and topics you want us to cover going forwards. So let's jump into these 4141 instructions. So of course, as always with our goalkeepers, we are using comes for crosses and sweeper keeper, but we do, we do take control of our keeper a lot. So, you know, obviously when in certain positions, when the guy's running out of us, use the triangle button, you know, bait in whatever. So we do use do a lot, a lot of that ourselves. So you don't need to do that if you are someone that does that, but we recommend using comes crosses anyway. And of course, two center backs are going to be on stay back while attacking. And of course, the full backs are going to be on stay back while attacking as well. In this situation, you obviously need all four of these guys staying back because the rest of the guys are going to be on fast build up. They're going to be getting forwards. They're going to be getting involved in the attack. So you really need this back four to stay in position you don't want anyone going forwards getting out of position because then that can be exploited especially with the level of attackers a lot of people have whether it be in draft whether it be champs rivals wherever so you need this back four and stay back 
Now this pivot central defensive midfielder, the guy that plays here, the number six, he is really, really important. We have him on cut passing lanes and cover centre, of course. You want him to be able to uh, intercept the ball for you as much as can. So you need a proper out and out DM, of course. This petit is perfect for this position. We've actually got him on drop between defenders. Now this is probably the most key instruction I would say in the whole formation. This works really well with single DM formations like this one. Now, the reason why this works so well is even though we've got fast build-up, this guy drops into the defense. So when you're attacking, this guy drops into the defense, so it becomes a back five. So he doesn't get drawn into the attacking phase. He doesn't get drawn into the fast build-up. Whilst the midfielders, the wide mids, the strikers, they all run forwards, this guy, because he's deep, he doesn't get dragged into the fast build-up. So when you do lose possession, you can bring your DM out of that back, what was a back five, and you can use him to press. Whereas if you don't use him on drop between defenders and he goes forwards and you're just left with your back four, you end up dragging one of your centre-backs out of position. And as you know, defending 101, you never drag your centre-backs, full-backs out of position. So you're allowed to do that because of that drop between defenders. So it is a super effective instruction. Now, in terms of your two midfielders, obviously Valverde and Chan in this position, these guys just need to be box-to-box -box mids, guys that are good in both boxes, so guys that can attack, guys that can defend, guys that can run. They need to do everything. So obviously with Petit sitting back and doing the defensive duty, these guys have license to go forwards. Of course, they're going to be on fast build-up, so they're going to be getting forwards into attacking positions. So you need guys that can do everything, can shoot, can pass, can dribble, have got speed, obviously have got stamina, skill moves, weak foot. They need everything. So just proper box-to-box -box mids and you're set. Someone like Valverde is perfect. And in terms of your wide midfielders, obviously we've got Damsgaard and Plata, but we're actually are subbing on Messi and Cruyff in these positions. So we've got them on get into the box, pretty standard. You obviously want these guys drifting into the box, you know, at every possible opportunity. Of course, they're getting behind as well. You're going to have fast players out there, so it makes sense to stretch the defense in behind. Of course, balls over the top, all that good stuff. And then the free roam works really well in this position we found, you know, just kind of exploiting and, and trying a few different things. And free roam works super, super well because it gives you a bit of everything. You know, sometimes they drift out wide, stay out wide, which is great, gives you the good width means that your opponent has to come and press them and that just opens up space for you to exploit sometimes they drift in field so they link up with the midfield it just is really good it just allows them you get a real good blend of everything you get them to drift wide you get them to drift inside and they're just very hard to pick up when they do that and it just causes havoc for your opponent so that's really important and then the last thing we've got is on comeback on defense now, the reason why we use this, again, mainly we use this when we play elite level players or high level players because you just need that extra level of defense just to be able to protect you. If you're playing against some people that you think are not very good, you can easily switch this off and just you don't need to come back on defense. You don't need that extra protection. And of course, when you're in fast build up, what that comeback on defense does, it means they get back into position faster. They make more runs to get back into that position. Whereas when you leave them on basic, they don't get back into their position very, very quickly. So the comeback on defense just means they get back into position faster. And like we said, it does drain their stamina more. So you need to have good subs in these positions. And then last but not least, of course, your striker, pretty much self-explanatory, is going to be on stay central and get behind. Obviously got Pele in this position. So you just need a pacey guy running in behind, threatening that space in behind, but a guy that is super reliable at finishing, obviously can do the business, pretty self-explanatory. So that is it for this formation, and we can't believe how good this formation is. Like we said at the start of the video, we've played like 50 or 60 games of this formation. We've only lost two or three. It's just an unbelievable formation, you know, just finding something different. Maybe it's just that freshness of trying something different and just having a bit of fun. So it's always great when you find a new formation that you just smash with. And this is one of those formations. And maybe it's because a lot of people don't know how to play against it. A lot of people don't use it, so they don't know what to do when they come up against it. But it is so successful. And we recommend you give it a try. So as we said earlier in the video, if you want us to continue to make more videos like this one, then we do need your support. So make sure that you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you turn on those notifications bells. And if you do want to ask us any questions, make sure you join our Discord. The link to that is down in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.